Hi everyone, it's Joel here again, and in today's lesson, we're showing students how to create a magazine cover. So I've got InDesign open here, and this is the, um, the cover that I've ultimately come up with. Uh, very, very simple, just a picture in the background with your headline at the top. I called my magazine Nature Spot as an environmental magazine with this sort of sad picture here, um, an article name here, and a byline over here. Okay, so very, very simple. And what I've given the kids to do is have a look at different examples of magazine covers. And I chose a whole bunch of these and I laminated them and I handed these out. Now, unlike what I did with the InDesign spreads where I got them to completely copy and recreate a design, this was not the idea here. I just wanted them to have a look at these and to get some inspiration on how these work and where the text goes and different ways of doing things. So I had all these different versions of magazine covers just to show them different ways of doing things, okay? So here we are back in, let's go back to InDesign here. And I'm going to create a new document. And in this case, I just want one page, starting at page one, easy. Press OK. And the first thing I want to do is my background image. So I'm going to use my, uh, well actually, you know, I will. I'll use my frame tool. And I want the frame to be the entire length of the page there. Actually needs to be a little bit, I'll fix that in a minute. Needs to be a little bit, no, I'll fix it now actually. Just need to click on that and just fix that up. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna to go to File Place and find my picture. So it's over here, this picture of a willow. And in fact, I went to Creative Commons and I just looked up sad willow because I wanted a sad, uh, sorry, I looked up sad tree, I think. Um, and I got this picture. Um, which suited me quite well. Now, first of all, that looks terrible, and two reasons why. The picture is much bigger than the frame. If I zoom out quite a bit, I'm just gonna zoom out, hold down my Alt key, and zoom out quite a bit. And then if I just use my black arrow, to, and I just double click inside this, or in fact, no, not double click, just click on this little donut thing here. You can see that's the size of the image. And that's the size of the frame. So what I need to do, sort of like how I did with the spread, is I need to fit the picture to the frame. So use my black arrow tool, right click, and choose fitting fill frame proportionally. There we go. I'm going to press control zero so I can see the whole thing. The other thing, like I said in the last InDesign tutorial, is this is typical display performance. We want high quality. View, display performance, high quality. There we go, much better. Now I'm gonna do my headlines. Now when I put text on top of images, I like to do it on the pasteboard first and then move it. So I'm just gonna just put that aside for the moment. I'm gonna create a text box here using my type tool, maybe about that big, and write in capitals, nature spot. I'm gonna select that. And I'm going to change my font from Minion Pro to something more blocky, which I've already got prepared here. And I'm going to make that really big. Let's try, I don't know, 80. No, 80 is too big. So let's go down a little bit until, there we go, until I can't do it anymore. It looks like 78 is the biggest I can do there. All right, let's try that. Let's move that into position. About there looks good. Now, I want that to be white. So I'm going to uh, change, hang on, I'm going to double click in there, select the whole thing, and net right now the T is black, I want it to be white, which in InDesign they call paper, so I want it white, there we go, and I also want it to be a drop shadow, so I'm going to just use my black arrow selection tool and choose drop shadow, there we go, let's just move this into the middle here. Okay, so that looks good. Just Maybe just put it a little bit like that. That looks good. Okay, now I need to do my text. Now I'm gonna choose my type tool and I'm just gonna draw something like that. And I'm gonna write the words in capitals again. What are we doing to our trees? So we're just imagining that's the name of the 
article, select that. I'm going to keep it at Minion Pro. I want a serif font for this. Um, and I'm just going to make it bigger. Oops. Bigger, 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 bigger. Something like... No. We'll, oh. Okay. This has happened, and I'm going to allow it to happen to show you that what we've got here is a hyphen, and I don't want a hyphen. Now, there's an option right over here on the far right. If I click on there, there's um, an option over here, hyphenation. If I click on that and untick that, now it looks good. I want to align to the right, and I'm going to move it into position about there. That looks good. And now I'm going to write my byline, Mr. Aaron's Investigate. So another T, another type tool, maybe about that big, and write Mr. Aaron's Investigates. Now, as a contrast, I want this one to be a sans serif font. So let's go back to what I used. Always good to not have too many font choices. Keep it um, consistent. There we go. Let's... Put that to the right, and let's change that from black to red. Nice red. And let's put that over here and see how that looks. That's maybe a tad big, so I'm just going to shrink that a bit. I don't want it to be that big. So I want about that big, but I've got this problem with the hyphenating again. So let's go over here and go to hyphenation. Turn that off. All right. And there we go. That's it, really. If I go over here to the top to screen mode, choose preview, that's my magazine cover. And then what I might do is I might click on this and click on, sorry, click on this one and then shift click on this so these are both copied. And let's just do an edit, copy, edit, paste. And let's move it over here. And let's move, make them both, if I use my type tool, left justify, since it's on the left side of it. And I'll just now just move things a bit different. Might move that there. Might move this. Hang on. Getting complicated. Getting confused here. That goes here. This one here. And so here I might think of another article. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to think. You can think of another article here. I even had some students um, go to Google Images and find a picture of a barcode, and just a random barcode, and then just copy and paste in it to give it a bit more of an extra look, which I thought was really impressive. Um, so that's done. I mean, I would probably, if I'm looking at it now, I would probably click on this and click on this and just move it a little bit further away from the margin to make it look better. Um, but there we go. That's my magazine cover. Pretty easy, really. If they'd gone through the whole experience of doing a magazine spread, then doing a magazine cover should be pretty easy. So that's how I taught my students how to do a magazine cover in InDesign. Thanks for listening.